contest is a rematch for the semi-final of the World of Sport Grand Prix belt. The contest to be held over six three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Introducing to you on my right hand in the red corner, a welcome please for the shaven-headed Skull Muppy. His opponent on my left and in the blue corner. Have a nice warm Aylesbury welcome for the star from Sheffield, Alan Kilby. As you remember a few weeks ago on World of Sport, we saw the, his first semi-final, which this is a rematch because that was a one fall each draw. But this afternoon, if there would be a draw again, then the referee will have to decide because the final is coming too soon and we'll have no time for a rematch after this one. Skull Murphy, Plymouth, 16 star, right on the limit for this uh, Grand Prix belt. Al Kilby, the Sheffield, British heavy middleweight title holder, the deaf boy from Sheffield, at 14-2. Zakash, the referee, will still be trying for a handshake, and successfully. Set away, round one. Round one of six three-minute rounds, two falls to the side. The same as all these Grand Prix heats, quarterfinals, semifinals have been. in the uh, semi-final these two in Manchester <laughs> saw it two or three weeks a couple of weeks ago on television and it went to a one fall each draw Toby was a little bit slow that afternoon I hope he can bring on a little of his usual speed here today The first time they met in the semi-final, uh, Kilby didn't seem to use his strength at all. He's certainly trying it today. Going for a few strength holes right from the beginning. Sure, it stays. One minute to go on one. Don't give up, Alan. to try and bring that shoulder on the teeth, man. Back to canvas. But can he hold him there? Starting to break very cleanly there. Try a little bit astonished. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Step over to a hold to Murphy, but you won't have time to make this pay in this round. Let's have a close-up look at Skull Murphy from Plymouth, a 16-star, and actually on the upper limit for this uh, Grand Prix.
Prix belt, as well as Sport Grand Prix belt, 1984. And this man from uh, Plymouth, the son of Roy Bull Davis, of course, showing signs of being the son of Roy Bull Davis in some of his inside moves, too. Set away, round two. Round two, five to go, no score. Two falls to decide this part. As to who decide who gets in the final the Grand Prix belt against Johnny Wilson of Portland. Larry <laughs> Kilby has already beaten John Elijah. In the quarterfinals and Murphy beat Ray Roberts. Right as far as this. Vicious one, figure four leg lock with bar and a beauty. Now he's facing his man. Now Murphy could be a real trouble here and possibly submit from it. <laughs> no question about it. This boy Al Kirby being much stronger here today than he was the last time. Yes, he's laying on that pressure. Now, if he really is in trouble, all he has to do is to submit. And the referee is right there, waiting for him if he wants it. Well, Murphy's out of it anyway. It's pretty mad. Murphy goes up with those arms, Kirby walks in down to the start Holding press, but too near the ropes. And just one minute to go around two. But Murphy, a little bit worried by some of those shoulder presses. Very neat. Back elbow. Two, three, four, five, six. Lock and strangle to Murphy. And Murphy may be thinking on the lines of a sleeper here. That's where that left arm is, right in the side of the neck. No. Not yet, and there's only eight seconds to go. trouble when uh, Al Kilby didn't realize the bell had gone, you see, of course, because he is stone deaf, Mr. Remember, and Mr. Referee remembers to remind him, there's his uh, second, who also speaks beautiful language, fast with the hands, maybe we'll get a chance to see them, I mean, uh, I'm going to chat in a minute. Set it away, round three. Round three, four to go, still no score, two falls to the side, this semi-final. Which of these two men reaches the final and takes on Johnny Wilson for the Grand Prix belt, 1984? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And if it looks as though he's coming out of meaning business in this one. Back with one, this, two, one after the other. Airplane spun. Drop, victory roll, pile driver, or onto the top rope. Stand back. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> Murphy really in charge at the moment. He goes down with a headbutt. One, two, three, Quite legal as long as he doesn't do it again. Five, six. Before his man gets up into his feet. 
That's the Gator hole right there. It's there, and he gets a submission from it. This is how he got the submission in the first semi final. Just one minute, 25 seconds, around three. Murphy gets the first score with a submission with his famous standing submission hold, the Gator. submission of the contest, his very own special submission, Skull Murphy! It's his own, it's his own submission hold, that, and it's a very effective one. I've seen him operate on two or three occasions, including the last semi-final met before. But we're only halfway through the box. Let's see if Toby can come back. Set away in round four. Certainly, Kilby was nowhere near Murphy strength in that round. Uh, all the fans are shouting to our Kilby, but I'm, it's unfortunate to realize that, of course, he can't hear. And Murphy going in really hard now. But the kick and clench fist there. The referee looks suspicious about it too. Two, three, four. Looking for Murphy going for the same move, but this time the back elbow came in first. Four arm smash won it though. Inside of the hand, the heel of the hand there. Uh, we're we'll pretty happy about that one. And the back elbow. She'll be really getting the worst of this now. All started in the last round three. Murphy going for a double arm now. Come on up, <clears throat> Switch into the zone version of the arm lever. That's with the joint, and Kirby shouldn't have too much problem with that. Just a head scissors now to Murphy. And Lever is released. And through the ropes. Murphy told to break, but really broke. Now one more. If he gets, he gets a public warning. Couldn't resist it. And now four, Murphy gives his first public warning to Skull Murphy. Nicely now, the back of the neck, beautiful side shot to the back of the neck, but has he got time to continue? It's only about five seconds. Just as Kirby comes back, the bell will say Murphy this time. Well, Al Kirby certainly came back the last half minute of that uh, fourth round. Unfortunately for him, he was a bit late, and he would have... Like that, yes. Yes. Sort of conversation going there between them. Seconds away, round five. No, not really the language that I was waiting for, but uh, more or less they understand it, each other pretty well. Two rounds to go. We start round five, and Kobe continue. That comeback that he showed us there at the end of that round. Oh. 
another speciality of uh, Murphy's lap. Forearm across the shoulder, but the other arm, the wrong side of the net for the forearm goal. Referee Zakash. And is there a public warning for not releasing and attacking when he was told to? In round five, the referee gives a second and final public warning to Skull Murphy. This is final public warning. He hasn't got any more to play with. He's leading Noel Murphy by one submission to nil. It's Murphy in the black strip with the stars and skulls, of course, all over his head. Intentionally over the top. We well, saw that coming a mile off. And a flying butt. Now, oh, he was hurt most by that. The mule kick, that's going to be special. Nicely over the top. And a cross press. And I can still be holders. He's got it. Two minutes exactly of round five, and Kobe gets the equalizing fall and leaving just one round to go for the decider. So is his second. He travels everywhere with him. A much happier corner now. But one round to go. Six away for the sixth and final round. Here it is. Final round six. One score each now. One submission in the third by Murphy, equalized by the fall by Kilby and Rafa. Two public warnings against Murphy, remember. He could be yet on a disqualification if he's not very careful. Toby really coming in in this final round. Everybody here hoping, and I'm sure most of it home, are hoping that Toby can do it and get into the final against Johnny Wilson for this belt. It's really wonderful. Place. But uh, if he does cross press, but he'll never hold it. If neither of them can do it in this last three minutes, of course, then it's up to the referee, Peter Zakash, to decide which man has put in enough aggression, ability, general skills. Kobe, and it's only a two again. No, he's holding him down without even making sure that that stay. Now a reverse double knee. And he can reach for just one leg and pull it over. Last minute there, last minute in the bout. Have to get a decision in this final minute here. And the Kobe wants to know, looking, pointing to his wrist, wanting to know the time. 45 seconds left. But Kilby, of course, can't hear it. He's the one that wanted to know the time, but he can't hear that uh, call from the timekeeper. 30 seconds left. Four, five, six. trying another cross press. And again, Kilby gets up on the shoulder blocks. 15 seconds only. 15 seconds left. 10. 
Nice. Oh, three seconds, two, one. And that's it. It's another draw, one fall each. And now it's up to referee Peter Zakash to decide which of these two men goes into the final against Johnny Wilson of Portsmouth. Decision on aggression and ability generally. Not quite like a points decision in boxing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to have a winner this evening, as you are aware. Both wrestlers have gained a fall apiece, so we are going to have to ask the referee if he will award the contest on a points basis to one of the wrestlers. Peter? Murphy quite happy on that, but still being a very unhappy man indeed. And so the second. The referee has awarded the contest to Skull Murphy. In the final, on a decision by the referee Peter Sarkash there on the right to go into the final against Johnny Wilson, which will be seen sometime this year.